Welcome to one of our first videos about solar imaging. I think we did like maybe two videos in the past, in like five, six years. Oh God. About that, the sun. That's not something I think we have uh, dived into, no. but I, we do see a lot of people on, in the community doing that, so. And uh, so today we're going to try and see if Vespera, so the small telescope here, is uh, good for the sun, like for solar imaging. Um, it, it's especially interesting because the eclipse is coming soon. So with actually two eclipses coming in the next uh, right. few months. October 2023 and the next year in April 2024. So we probably will take this with us to uh, try to get a good shot of it. But first, let's practice on the sun by itself. Yeah, I will say that if you are intending to go do any of the eclipses upcoming in this next year, do your practice beforehand because you do not want to go out and that's your first time doing it and then you totally mess it up. So like, I agree. practice, 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 whether you're doing it with a smart telescope or not, but that's what we're going to be using because that's what we have access to. We're very excited to use it. And so the first step to make sure we get a good image and not make this explode is to add the solar filter. Yes. So let's do it now. So this currently is my narrowband filter. I'm going to remove that carefully. And I'm going to replace it with the solar filter. And you can know which filter is which when you have all your boxes because um, underneath it tells you. So here is an S for solar. And it's very simple to add. You just put it like this and to lock it in place, you just push on this slot here, and there it is. Now it's on. Now let's go outside. All right, Dalia, let's carry it outside. And uh, the main thing to do will be to level it properly using the bubble level. And we'll also try our best to align it on the sun. So let's go outside. All right, so here we are sitting it on the ground. One thing to know is that Vespera, is, when you initialize it, it searches for the stars, but clearly it's daytime, that's not possible. So a uh, little clever design here to make sure that it's aligned perfectly is to use shadows. But before I do that, before we go uh, aligning it, we have to make sure that it's level. Okay, so we're gonna level it using the bubble leveler. Ooh, and it actually attaches magnetically right here. Do, 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 I'm having trouble, there you go. And uh, it looks like it's pretty good, but it's a little bit off. So we're gonna want it to uh, make sure that it's completely level. You do that by loosening the feet. So I think on this side is where it needs to be loosened. So we're just going to unscrew it a little bit, making it just a little bit longer. And I think that should help it. So it seems fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to aim at the sun. So for this, it's very, very smart. On Vespera, there is a kind of like a crease here, like a little hole in between the, the arm opening, as you can see. Okay, you can see the hole here. And the sun is way above right now, all the way above us. So for this, we are going to try to, to look at the shadow. To look at the shadow and for the sun's light to go through the hole. <gasps> and you will see here the magic happen. <laughs> Make sure it's perfect. The best line you can get. I think that's as straight as it's gonna get here. All right, perfect. And now we can turn it on and go back inside. So once you go into solar mode on the app, it's going to ask you to check the filter and then it's going to slew to the sun. It takes a while. This video right here was sped up about four times but then once it finds the sun, it's going to automatically start capturing it and show you the result on the app. If Vespera is having trouble finding the sun, make sure that the arm opens towards the sun. So when the lens goes up, it goes towards the sun right away without getting confused too much. So it's almost done. It just finished focusing and now we'll be able to see the sun. Oh yeah, nice. As you can see, very quickly, we have a picture of the sun with a current um, Sunspot, which is really nice to see. Wow, it's cool. Really, really cool. So unlike a deep sky uh, session, you can't really uh, stack images here. So you just see the sun as of right now. And it keeps updating, as you can see here, which is really cool. And take a picture and save that. 
really cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what do you think of the sun image we got, Dahlia? I like it. You can see the sunspots in there. That's yeah. very impressive. That's kind of what I was hoping to see. The thing also is that when you live in a place like this, very hot, like in the summer, this took three minutes to set up and get the picture like this. If we had a full setup, it would take a much longer time and we'd oh be, God, we'd be burning, burning outside. So I'm really, really in love with this feature on the Vespera. Uh, it's very, very quick to get and I love that. Um, there are two types of solar imaging, uh, I believe, which is uh, the white filter. This is what the white filter uh, solar imaging looks like. And there's also the H-alpha. I would love seeing an H-alpha um, image with Vespera, if it's possible one day, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is great. And um, yeah, I like it. I'm pleased. I don't know about you. So I like we can, it. We can take a bunch of um, sun pics more often. And with Vespera, which we, you know, can use at nighttime too. So like literally it's doubled its use. Awesome. So we'll see you guys next time. And class guys. guys.